Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss about the Gidoudin. How this drug acts as an anti-HIV agent, what is the mechanism, side effects, drug interactions and contraindications of this anti-HIV agent. Gidoudin is one of the drug which is commonly known as anti-retroviral agent because this drug is going to decrease the HIV infection which is a retrovirus. So that's why this drug is called as anti-retroviral. And even the mechanism of the drug is related to the inhibition on the reverse transcriptase enzyme activity. At the same time, this drug can also be used to prevent the HIV transmission from mother to baby. So from the maternal to the neonatal, HIV transmission can be prevented by Gidoudin. So Gidoudin is one of the drugs which is having some structural similarity with the nucleosides and it is going to inhibit the reverse transcriptase enzyme. That's why this drug belongs to the category of NRTI, Nucleoside Reverse Transcriptase Inhibitors. So many drugs are there in the NRTIs, but among them, Gidoudin is one of the drugs which is used to prevent the mother to baby HIV transmission, as well as it is also used for the treatment of HIV infection along with the other drugs. So today in this video, let us see how this drug acts as NRTI, Nucleoside Reverse Transcriptase Inhibitor. First of all, let us see the structure of Gidoudin. So this is the simple structure of Gidoudin and here we can observe a nucleic acid base. So here this is the heterocyclic ring system which is made up of pyrimidine. So Gidoudin is a pyrimidine analog. And if we carefully observe this is nothing but the thymine. So thymine is present as a nucleic acid base which is attached with the sugar moiety so it becomes a thymidine. But it is a modified structure of the thymidine where one of the OH group is going to be replaced with the Egido group with three nitrogens. That's why Gidoudin is indicated with one of the label AZT. So this AZT indicates it is a azidothymidine. Now we can easily observe that Gidoudin is a analog of thymidine. So it can compete with the nucleosides within the host cells as well as it inhibits the reverse transcriptase enzyme activity. That's why it is classified as NRTI, Nucleoside Reverse Transcriptase Inhibitor. But in order to show its action, initially this drug should be activated into triphosphate form. So now if we see the activation, this is the structure of Gidoudin and it undergoes the phosphorylation such that it is going to form a product Gidoudin triphosphate. So Gidoudin triphosphate is the active form of this drug which is then going to inhibit the reverse transcriptase enzyme activity. Now let us see how this drug acts in the HIV infection. So HIV cell is composed of the different components and it is having the outer lipophilic core which is attached with the glycoproteins. Particularly GP41 is present on the outer coat which is responsible for the attachment of this viral cell into the host cell. And on the host cells, the CD4 cells are expressed along with the CCR5 co-receptors. Now this viral cell can bind to the CD4 cells which is responsible for the stimulation and entry of this viral cell into the host cell. So after binding to these CD4 cells, the viral cell can enter and it can release the components into the host cell. So here one of the important viral component is the reverse transcriptase enzyme. This enzyme is going to produce a reverse transcription where it converts a viral RNA into the viral DNA. So in order to prepare a copy of DNA from the RNA, it requires the nucleosides. Now these nucleosides are undergoing the phosphorylation such that they are going to form in a triphosphate form and they can bind to this reverse transcriptase enzyme. In this way, every nucleoside can interact with the reverse transcriptase enzyme. Thereby they can prepare a slowly growing DNA copy. So from the viral RNA, this reverse transcriptase can prepare the viral DNA copy. In this way, reverse transcriptase can prepare the viral DNA copy from the viral RNA. But here Gidoudin is one of the nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor which is again converted into its triphosphate form. And within the triphosphate form, now this drug again binds to the reverse transcriptase enzyme where the other nucleosides are going to bind such that it is going to prevent the attachment of the viral nucleosides to this reverse transcriptase enzyme. In this way, Gidoudin can inhibit the activity of the reverse transcriptase enzyme thereby it can prevent the conversion of the viral RNA to the viral DNA. And since it is going to compete with the nucleoside triphosphates, Gidoudin is a competitive enzyme inhibitor and it is a NRTI, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. What are the side effects? Gidoudin is one of the NRTI which produce so many types of side effects and among them headache, nausea and vomiting, anorexia, loss of appetite, 
and constipation are few of the important side effects. And apart from these, it can also produce few of the other side effects like malaise, a lack of energy. All these are the common side effects produced by Gidovudin. On the other hand, few of the side effects of the Gidovudin are more important clinically. So Gidovudin can also produce the hemodynamic changes. It can produce the anemia and neutropenia. These two side effects are more pronounced when this Gidovudin is used for a prolonged period. That's why along with the Gidovudin, few of the other supplements are given in order to prevent the anemia and neutropenia. Anemia can be controlled by epoitin. Epoitin is one of a erythropoietin which can control the anemia. Similarly, filgrastim. Filgrastim is a granulocyte colony stimulating factor which can control the neutropenia by increasing the neutrogenesis. So these are the two important side effects, anemia and neutropenia that are produced by Gidovudin. And apart from this, another important side effect is the lactic acidosis. This lactic acidosis is because of the accumulation of the lactic acid and this is more pronounced with the Gidovudin producing the hepatomegaly. Hepatomegaly is the enlargement of the liver that can be observed with the treatment with Gidovudin. And another important effect on the liver is the steatosis. This is one of the conditions of fatty deposition within the liver resulting in the fatty liver. So both of these conditions can further increase the lactic acidosis which should be carefully monitored. What are the precautions? So all we have seen one of the important side effects is the lactic acidosis. So this is again to be taken as a precaution. So if any patient already having a risk for producing the lactic acidosis, this drug should be carefully given. Particularly other antiretroviral agents can also produce a lactic acidosis. So in such conditions, Gidovudin should be carefully given. Similarly, another precaution is the myopathy. Gidovudin can increase the muscle pain as well as the muscle inflammation. So if any patient already having the muscle disorders, this drug should be carefully given. And then there one is a bone marrow depression. Many of the anti-cancer agents can produce a bone marrow depression. Similarly, if you have the other viral agents can also produce a bone marrow depression. So when the drugs are going to produce a bone marrow depression, they can decrease the erythropoiesis as well as neutrogenesis. So it can lead to the anemia as well as neutropenia, which are further increased by the Gidovudin. So if any patient are having the bone marrow depression or using the cytotoxic drugs, this drug should be carefully given. Similarly, accumulation of the body fat. This drug may produce unequal distribution of the fat. Sometimes the fat may be deposited on the backside, resulting in the buffalo horns. So care should be taken to check any symptoms of fatty deposition. And ribavirin. Ribavirin is one of uh, antiviral agent particularly used to treat the hepatitis C infection. And this drug can inhibit the phosphorylation of the Gidovudin. And we know that Gidovudin is going to be phosphorylated into triphosphate form where it is going to inhibit the reverse transcriptase enzyme. So this phosphorylation is an important step in the activation of the Gidovudin which can be inhibited by ribavirin. So when the ribavirin is given along with the Gidovudin, the action of the Gidovudin can be reduced, which may result in the failure of treatment. So again, care should be taken when our Gidovudin is given along with the ribavirin. What are the contraindications? Gidovudin is one of the drugs which can produce we have the hypersensitive reactions. Sometimes in the patients can produce the severe anaphylaxis as well as Steven Johnson syndrome, which is a fatal hypersensitive reaction. In such conditions, Gidovudin is contraindicated. Drug interactions. One of the drugs is the stavudin, which is somewhat similar to the Gidovudin. You can observe both are having the similar suffix. Stavudin is a thymidine analog, whereas Gidovudin is again a thymidine analog. So both of these drugs are NRTIs. So when both of these drugs are given simultaneously, there may be a combination of these two drugs for phosphorylating enzymes. Thereby each drug can produce the antagonism on the other drug. And they can also produce some cross resistance. Because of these two limitations, stavudin and Gidovudin should not be combined. Similarly, another drug interaction is with the doxorubicin. Doxorubicin is one of a anthracycline antibiotic which is used to treat the cancer. And again, this drug can produce an inhibitory effect on the Gidovudin and it can produce an antagonism on the actions of the Gidovudin. Thereby, this combination should be avoided. Similar other drugs like the Gancyclovir, Ribavirin and Interferons. All these drugs can produce a bone marrow depression. And this can result in the anemia as well as neutropenia. Gidovudin can further increase anemia and neutropenia. So with these drugs, Gidovudin should be carefully given. How it is given? This drug is given as a tablet form at a dose of 300 mg. Otherwise, it can be available as a capsule form at different doses like 100 mg as well as 250 mg. And it is also available as a syrup 
at a dose of uh, 50 mg per 5 ml as well as an injectable form it is available and the dose of this zidovudine depends on the type of uh, condition for treatment of hiv infection it can be given at 300 mg twice daily in combination with the other drugs but in case of prevention of hiv infection from mother to baby the dose of the zidovudine depends on the stage where it is going to be used whether it is going to be used prepartum or intrapartum or postpartum so that's about the zidovudine zidovudine is one of a nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor which is a thymidine analog with with an azido group so that's why it is called as azido thymidine and because of the structural similarity with the nucleosides it can compete with the nucleosides for phosphorylation and it is going to be converted into triphosphate form then it can complete with the nucleoside triphosphates for binding to the reverse transcriptase enzyme and on binding to the reverse transcriptase enzyme it can inhibit the conversion of the viral rna to the viral dna thereby it inhibits the hiv cell replication and this drug mainly produces few of the common side effects like the headache nausea and vomiting but important side effects are the lactic acidosis anemia and neutropenia and it can also produce the fatty deposition and fatty liver which should be thoroughly monitored and this drug can also produce few of the fatal hypersensitive reactions in such case this drug should be avoided and with few of the other drugs like stavudine it produces some antagonism so this combination should be avoided similarly this drug can also produce few of the drug interactions with the other drugs which produce the bone marrow depression and uh, anemia which are further increased by zidovudine so that's about this zidovudine hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video